Hello fellow crafters! Okay, so today we are going to talk bubbles. You got bubbles? Got bubbles! We all get bubbles. We all do. Um, but there are ways that you can alleviate the bubbles. Um, first and foremost, make sure that your resin is room temperature heated before you use it. So either put it in a hot water bath, um, either like, like I do, I have a heater on mine at all times. It's a small heater, but it does a good job. My resin does stay warm and I don't usually have a problem with it. So that's exactly what you want to do. I'm sorry, I'm thirsty. Okay, so I'm using a resin that I am just trying to get rid of because um, it yellowed on me. So, I, and I'm using colorants, so I want to use that uh, resin in order to get rid of it. It's called an Envirotech. Um, I don't normally use it. I'm usually a counterculture DIY person, but running a little low on cash, so uh, I'm 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 taking it easy. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you before we get started? Number one, most important thing is make sure your resin is room temperature. Again, make sure your resin is room temperature to start with. It helps so much, you will not believe it. Alright, so let's go! Okay, so this is um, Envirotech. It is probably one of the worst resins that I've used. So this is what the bottle looks like. It came from Michaels. That's who carries it. Um, this resin is the worst resin, the most toxic resin I've ha I've used. Uh, and I would not recommend this resin. I'm just wanting to get rid of it because uh, I don't want to waste it. I mean, you know, the resin is expensive. So I am going to use it up on my colored pores. So this is my setup. As you can see, I have a mat. Um, that is my heat gun that's sticking out of the corner there. Uh, and you'll see how I use that in just a few minutes. I usually use counterculture DYI so this is a one-to-one -one resin that means one part resin one part hardener equal amounts so when you're pouring resin you want to make sure that you are pouring in a way that you do not introduce a whole lot of bubbles to the resin air so pouring your resin if you take your resin um, and take your cup you want to tilt your cup while you're pouring your resin and I'm gonna show you how to do that um, it sometimes it takes skill because I've I've spilt many 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 times as have uh, so many other people so So you want to make sure when you're res uh, working with resin that you wear your gloves, that you wear your PPE, and that you are uh, being as safe as you possibly can. Read the directions. Can't say that enough. Read the directions. Don't just assume all resins are the same because they are not the same. Whoops. Alright, so this is a yellowed resin. I don't know if you can tell it or not. The hardener is yellowed. Uh, so, but here we go. You want to make sure again that you tip your cup and pour your resin in at an angle as slow as possible without spilling it everywhere. So this is how I do it. I tilt my cup and I pour my resin in on the side. 
and I know sometimes you don't want to do that whenever you're doing a pour because you don't want to get your resin uh, on the sides of your mold but believe me it is going to make a huge difference try it and see it makes a big difference and you see how slow I'm pouring this in the slower you go the less bubbles and the less air you're going to introduce to your resin so make sure that you pour slow believe me all of these things yes as they might be time consuming they are also oh, uh, save you time because you don't have to deal with uh, trying to get the bubbles out um, whenever the resin starts curing so it pays off to take your time during this step you want to do the same thing with your hardener you want to pour your hardener in on the side equal amounts I am pouring uh, four ounces all together so two ounces of the hardener are two ounces of the resin two ounces of the hardener and paper towels are your friends trying to stay in the camera range my camera is so horrible that you can't really see uh, close up with it so I try to get as close as I can without cutting the picture off I'm sorry if this is uh, too much for you or too close for you but I want you to be able to see what I'm doing nice and slow slow and steady wins the race they say Now you can see I don't have very many bubbles here. I have a few, but I don't have a whole lot. Every little step that you make to help with the bubbles is a step that is worth it. And I like these measuring cups because they're cheap. You just uh, you can peel your resin out of it once they dry, and um, they only cost a dollar. So if you have to throw them away, you only lost a dollar. So when I mix my resin, I try again to not introduce a lot of air to it. The way to do that is to mix. Uh, mostly staying inside the resin so you don't really want to come up out of the resin and go back into the resin as, as little as possible you want to stay inside the resin and not introduce a lot of air to it it is hard to do because you know unless you're I mean you really have to think about this think about it while you're doing this otherwise you will mess it up you'll you'll end up doing something that you didn't want to do lot of thought process I like this uh, spatula as my stir stick because it's nice and sturdy I can get in the corners um, and scrape the sides easily with it you'll see how I'm how I'm swishing this back and forth 
I'm not really coming out of the resin very much. I do um, stir my resin for the full five minutes. Some say three minutes, but I still go the full five. I know all of us craft crafters um, have a problem with um, waiting. None of us have patience, I don't think. But believe me, patience right here makes a difference. back and forth motion you still you still get in the mix um, you're still getting stuff from up top coming down to the bottom it's not at all going to hurt uh, your stirring by doing it this way Five minutes takes forever, so I'm going to speed this up just a little bit, okay? That way you don't have to sit and watch me stir this for five minutes. You see how it's cloudy? You see how the, the um, mixture gets cloudy whenever you put it the two together the resin and the hardener but it does start to clear up once it starts to clear up you know you're getting a good mix I say I'm gonna speed it up but I have not used the new uh, formula or I don't know how they say that <laughs> but I haven't used the new program the updated program so I have got to look for the controller that does that, the button that does it. I am not seeing my button no more. <laughs> Your hand gets tired after a while doing this as well, so. especially because you're just doing the back and forth motion you're not really getting a whole lot of um, wrist or uh, change of motion in your wrist so um, and I have bad wrists anyway so this is uh, you know it is a little painful on the wrists and as you could see, I did not get a whole lot of bubbles during this process. So then, I also, I know you can't hear it because I'm doing a voiceover, but I also have my, um, my little heater there going as I'm stirring to get the uh, resin to uh, liquefy a little bit so it does mix better this way the only problem with that scenario is if you get it too hot it will cure too fast on you so you have to be careful not to get your resin too hot and make sure you have everything ready to go whenever you go to do this so that way you don't have to fumble around uh, otherwise you will waste time and your resin will cure on you believe me it happens to me all the time <laughs> and we all know we hate wasting resin See that's it. That's my heat gun right there, and I'm a. Uh, I swear by that thing. Now that I've figured that out, I didn't figure it out. One of the, one of our fellow resin artists, 
uh, did it in her in her live or her video and I followed suit. And I know I said that I was going to um, speed the video up, but I cannot find that button. I'll have to look for it after I get done with this video. <laughs> If you guys enjoy my videos or if I'm any help to you, um, go ahead and, and like and share and uh, subscribe to my channel. That way you know that I, uh, when I post something, and please leave me some comments, some suggestions, some anything helps. I don't, I, I like constructive criticism, so it helps me. Now, I always take my resin and, and I pour it into other cups so that I don't get uh, overheated because what happens is is if you have a resin that is not made for deep pouring and you have that much resin in one cup it's going to overheat on you you see the see the bubbles not very many so just try the technique and see because you'll notice the difference Then you just let them sit for a few minutes and let the bubbles come to the top. Shoot it with the um, with your heat gun to pop the bubbles, and then you're ready to pour. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching my mix tutorial. Again, if this helps you out, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, give me some comments, some likes, some thumbs up. Um, Throw this woman some love. How's that? <laughs> you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.